in an experiment to determine the level of resistance of some maize varieties to Cetophilus semis in storage, the following data on numbers of bulk kernel were obtained. Compute an ANOVA table if F tabulated is 3.25 at 5% and 5.29 at 1%. To solve this question, the first step is to take the row total and the column total, that is the summation of each row and the summation of each column. In that case, I'm going to have another column in this place, that is a row total. Let me represent it as RT, row total, and the column total. Column total. For the cell in this place, I'm going to have the summation of 10 plus 4 plus 8 and plus 2. That is 24. So for this cell, row total of this cell is 24. Then for the second cell, I have 12 plus 5 plus 9 and plus 3. That is 29. Then for the third cell, that is 11 plus 6 plus 7 plus 1, that is 25. Then for the fourth, cell, for the fourth row, I have 9 plus 4 plus 8 plus 2, that is 23. Then for the fifth cell, I have 12 plus 5 plus 9 plus 3, that is 29. So I have taken the row total. The next step is to take the columns total. For the first column, I'm going to have 10 plus 12 plus 11 plus 9 and plus 12. That is 54, 24, 41 and 11. So I have taken the row total and the column total. After getting the row total and the column total, the next step is to check whether the row total, that is when I sum this element together and I sum this element together, maybe they are equal. Probably if they are not equal, then something is wrong with this calculation. So when I check, I got 130. So this is correct. When I check this, I got 130. And when I sum this up, I got 130. Now, the next step is to calculate the correction factor. The correction factor is given by this formula. That is summation x into bracket all squared all over n. Where summation x is the sum of all the observations. And n is the total numbers of observations that we have. And if you check in this place, we have already calculated the sum of all the observations that we have here. That is 130. And the total number of observations is 20. Because we have 4 varieties will repeat themselves in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 4 times 5. That is 20. In that case, n is 20. So the correction factor can be calculated by just substituting this. So we shall hex, which is 130 squared. 120 squared all over the numbers of observation that is 20 so 130 squared is 130 squared that is 16,900 all over 20 so the correction factor is equal to 16,900 divided by 20 that is 845 therefore the correction factor let me put it here the correction factor correction factor Correction factor is um, 845. After getting the correction factor, the next thing we are going to calculate is the total sum of square. The total sum of square is the square of all the observations minus the correction factor. The sum of the square of all the observations minus the correction factor will give us the total sum of square. In that case, I'm going to have TSS, let me represent it as that. Total sum of square is equal to that will be 10 squared, which is the first, first observation, that is 10 squared, plus 4 squared, plus 8 squared, plus 2 squared, plus 12 squared, plus 5 squared, plus 9 squared, plus 3 squared, plus... 11 squared So when I saw the square of all the observations I got total sum of squared is equal to 1074 Minus, don't forget this minus, correction factor. 
The correction factor is 845 minus 845. 845. So the total sum of squared is equal to 1074 minus 845. That gives me 229. So the total sum of squared is 229. So let me put it here. The total sum of squared. Total sum of squared is equal to 229. After getting the total sum of squared, the next step is to calculate the variety sum of squared. The variety sum of squared is calculated by let me represent it as BSS. Variety sum of squared is equal to summation of each variety, summation of the square of all the variety all over here minus the correction factor. Yes, summation VI square is the sum of the square of all the varieties. And don't forget that I've already calculated their sum in this place. The sum of variety 1 is 54. For variety 2, I have 24. For variety 3, I have 41. And for variety 4, I have um, 11. And n is the number of time this variety repeat themselves. For example, for variety 1, variety, um, variety 1 have n as 5. Variety 2, 3, and 4 also have n as 5. Because if you look at this, I have 4 varieties which are this. And they repeat themselves in how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, the value of n in this case is 5. Now, you can proceed to calculate your variety sum of square by first squaring the value of each variety. So, let us start with the numerator, which is summation v i squared. So, I'm going to have summation v i squared is equal to um, 54 squared. 54 squared plus 24 squared plus 41 squared plus 11 squared so 54 squared plus uh, 24 squared plus 41 squared plus 11 squared that gives me 5294 so don't forget that the value of n is equal to 5 so the right sum of squared is equal to 5,294 divided by 5 minus the correction factor. And don't forget that the correction factor is 845. So I'm going to have minus 845. So the right sum of squared, 5,294 divided by 5, that is 1,058.8. Minus 845. The sum of squared is equal to 213.8. So let me put it here. The variety sum of squared. Variety sum of squared. 213.8. Now, after getting the Correction factor, the total sum of squared, the variety sum of squared. The next step is to calculate the error sum of squared. The error sum of squared is the difference between the total sum of squared and the variety sum of squared. Error sum of squared is equal to total sum of squared is 229. So I'm going to have 229 minus the variety sum of squared is 213. So 213.8. So the error sum of squared is equal to 15. 15.20. So let me put it down here. The error sum of squared, error sum of squared is equals to 15.20. So now we have gotten the correction factor, the total sum of square, the variety sum of square, and the error sum of square. The next step is to proceed to compute our ANOVA table because this one is one way ANOVA. So, um, this is how a typical ANOVA table look like. I'm sorry, my hand is not, uh, is not that straight, but I want you to understand. Just pay attention. Okay, we have the source of variation. The DF here represents the degree of freedom. Here, the SS is the sum of square, and MS is the mean square, F calculated and F tabulated. Now, from what we have already calculated, we have the total sum of square. So, I'm going to have here, I'm going to have total. Total 
Then I have the variety sum of squared also, and so the second will be the variety. And the third is error, so this will be error. Now, let's start with this cell. Don't forget that the degree of freedom, the degree of freedom is equal to n minus 1. Now, let us, get, let us get the degree of freedom for total. Total degree of freedom is equal to, don't forget that the total numbers of observation is 20. So, in that case, the value of n will be 20. So, I'm going to have 20 minus 1. So, the total degree of freedom is equal to 19. So, in that case, I'm going to have 19 in this place. Now, let us get the degree of freedom for variety. Don't forget that the total number of variety that we have is 4 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So the degree of freedom for variety, variety degree of freedom is equal to 4 minus 1. So in that case, I'm going to have 3. Now, how do we get the degree of freedom for error? The degree of freedom for error can be gotten by subtracting the degree of freedom of variety, which is 3, from the degree of freedom of total, which is 19. So the error degree of freedom error degree of freedom is equal to 19 minus 3. So, in that case, the degree of freedom of error is 16. Now, after calculating the degree of freedom, let us proceed to fill the sum of square. Don't, get, don't forget that from our calculation, the total sum of square is 229. So, in that case, I'm going to have 229 in this place. And the variety sum of square is 213.8. So, 213.8 and the error sum of squared is 15.20. 15.20. Okay, we are filling the, uh, filling the degree of freedom and the sum of squared. Now, how do we calculate the mean square? Let mean square is given by this formula that is mean square ms is equal to sum of squared all over the degree of freedom. So now I want to get the total mean square. The total mean square is the total sum of square. So the total mean square is equal to the total sum of square. The total sum of square is 229. So I'm going to have 229 all over the degree of freedom, which is 19, all over 19. So 229 divided by 19, that is 12.05. 12 so let us proceed to get the variety mean square. The variety mean square, which is VMS, the variety mean square is equal to the variety sum of square, which is 213, 213.8 divided by the variety degree of freedom, that is theory. So, the variety mean square is 213.8 divided by theory, 71.26. So, 71.26. So, let us get the error sum of square. Uh, the error mean square. The error mean square is given by the error sum of square, which is 15 point, 15 point 20, 15 point 20 divided by the error degree of freedom, which is 16. So, 15 point 20 divided by 16, that is 15 point 20 divided by 16. We have 0.95, 0.95. So, the total sum of square is 12.05, 12.05. The variety, oh, sorry, the total mean square is 12.05. The variety mean square is 71.26, 71.26, and the error mean square is 0 0.95, 0 0.95. Now let us calculate the F calculated and F, um, in this question, we are only interested in the F calculated of varieties. Therefore, we are going to calculate the only variety F calculated. So I'm going to have F calculated of variety is given by this formula, which is the on uh, variety mean squared, variety mean squared all over the error mean squared. Don't forget that the variety mean squared is on uh, 71.26, 71.26 all over the error mean squared is 0 0.95 all over 0 0.95. So the F calculated for variety is 75, 75.01. So the F calculated for variety is 75.01, 75. .01, 75 Point zero one. Now, don't forget that from the question, they, they gave us that the F tabulated at 1% is, in the question, they gave us that F tabulated at 1% is 5.25. So, 
I'm going to put 5.25 in this place, 5.25, and x tabulated at 5% is 3.24, 3.24. Now, we have completed this ANOVA table. Now, we are told to comment on the level of resistance. If we want to comment on the level of resistance, we have to calculate the resistivity of each variety. This is done by taking the mean of each variety. So, the mean of variety 1, let's take the mean of variety 1, mean of variety 1 is equals to have all the variety 1 together, have all the observation of variety 1 together, which is 54, and divide it by the count of all, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I'm going to have 54 all over 5. The mean of variety 1 is 10.8. I'm going to have 10.8 in this place. So let's calculate the mean of the right 2. The mean of the right 2, MV2, is equal to the sum of all the observations of the right 2, which is 24, all over 5. So the mean of the right 2 is um, 4.8. 4.8. The mean of the right 3 is equal to 41 divided by 5. The mean of variety is 8.2. The mean of variety 4 is equal to 11 divided by um, 5. That is 2.2. Now, we are plotting the mean value of each variety. I want you to know, the varieties that have the lowest mean value is more resistant to the insects. In that case, among these four varieties, it is only variety 4 that have the lowest mean value of 2.2. Therefore, variety 4 is more resistant to the insect than the other varieties. In that case, I'm going to circle variety 4. So the comment now is that among this variety, variety 4 is more resistant than the other varieties. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you are going to get updates when I drop 